Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out a whitelist IP script. Um, this will not include a Discord whitelist, but we will be doing that in the soon future. Today we are just going over the Steam and IP whitelist. Um, so you can whitelist Steam IDs or you could whitelist an overall IP. Um, so we're going to be going over both of them and how to get them and install it. So let's get started. In order to install this, you're just going to download the link um, from the description and it will go ahead and take you to the whitelist.zip file, which will just go ahead and download and you can see it is already downloaded. It's quite small file, so it shouldn't take that long. Open it with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use, and you can see you have a folder here. This is what we're going to have to do now. Make sure you have your server set up and you go into your server dash data folder. If you don't have a 5M server set up yet, please go watch our full video on that. Link is in the description as well. But inside of your server dash data folder, go into the resources folder and we're going to right click and create a new folder. And we're just going to name this for easy access whitelist. Then inside of the whitelist folder, just drag these three files, which came in our .zip file into that folder. That's all we have to do to really install it. Now we're going to go over how to set yourself as a whitelist in a moment, but we're just going to first go back to your server dash data folder, go into your server.cfg file, edit it with notepad++, and at the end here add insure or start depending on whatever you use, and we're just going to name it whatever we named that folder. In this case it's whitelist, so we're just going to name it whitelist. Then we're going to go close out of this, go back to our resources folder, go back to the whitelist folder, and this is where we get to configure some of the settings, which is really cool. Inside of your whitelist.json is actually where you're going to add the whitelists. By default, it's just localhost here. Don't really have to worry about that, but I'm going to teach you how to add another one and how to keep this format correct. So to add another one, you're going to add a comma and then add two more parentheses here and either type steam and then dot dot and then put the steam ID of 64 or put um, pretty much whatever ID of steam you have. I would recommend having the Steam API set up for this, or this may not work properly. We have a full video on that also linked in the description below on how to get your Steam API set up. Or you can do IP, and to do the IP, you do the exact same thing, type IP, and we'll put our IP here. Now you may be wondering, how in the world do we get this? So we're going to go to a new tab and type in Steam ID Finder, and this is where we're going to get our Steam ID from. Then you're just going to enter your username, mine is Noodle0711, and you can see it's popped up here and you can see my Steam ID 64. This is what you want to copy, so you want to double click and copy your Steam ID 64, and that's what you would paste in here as the Steam ID. What about your IP? Well, you're gonna do what is my IP com that's where you're going to go and that is going to show you your ip4 address this page is a little bit blurry i have to keep this all uh hidden but i do apologize for that but anyway you're going to see my public ip4 is and you're going to copy your ip4 address and then paste it in where it says ip here save the file that is all you have to do to whitelist people. Now, if possible, I highly recommend using the Steam whitelist over the IP whitelist. The main reason for this is because if your IP is a rotating IP address, which is not a static IP, it will change constantly, which could cause a few problems for users, um, which means you would have to whitelist their IPs over and over again every time it changed. So, I would use Steam if possible. Now to test if this worked, we're just going to go in and start up our server and we're also going to start up 5M and we're going to try connecting. If we're able to connect to it, we know it has started. And you can see here it's creating the script environments for the whitelist. That means we are good to go. So loaded four whitelist identifiers and started server right whitelist. So we are good to go with that. We are good to connect and try out if we have whitelisted ourselves. So we'll How sad this is, right when I tried connecting, 5M decided to go down. So I won't be able to actually show you how this works. But anyway, I'm going to just explain it because it will be down and I have no clue when it's back up and I got to get these videos out. But anyway, um, so what happened is when you join the server, it will go ahead and check if you are one of the people listed in that whitelist, either the Steam whitelist or the IP whitelist. If you match, it will allow you into the server. If you don't match that, it will kick you from the server saying you are not whitelisted and please contact the owner of the server to become whitelisted. So it's quite simple. It's literally connect if you have an IP or a Steam ID in that file. If you don't, won't let you in the server. I use this on my own server. It works perfectly fine. Never had an issue with it. Um, and I do recommend it to anybody wanting a whitelist. I will be going over a Discord whitelist in a future video. So just stay tuned for that. I'm sorry I couldn't show it to you and how it works, mainly because 5M decided to go down right now. But um, hopefully it's back up soon and we can do more videos. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.